this for you. I don't want you to hurt, so I'll give you this home. Hi everyone, and welcome to Freedom Friday. I'm Darian, as you may know from DarianAwaken.com. And today, this is kind of a follow-up from last week. What we did was Lesson 34 from A Course in Miracles, where we state, I could see peace instead of this. If you haven't seen that video and you haven't signed up, um, you can get that video on the Freedom Friday link on DarryAwaken.com. If you're getting an email from this video and you missed the video from last week, I will provide you with a link to watch the video from last week. And today is the follow-up. So, I have a personal, a few personal development coaches that um, have really been helping me along my journey. One of which, I was on a call last, two weeks ago, with a woman by the name of Janine Dietrich, who is my one of my personal development coaches, and she had just returned from the Oneness University in India, which is the Spiritual Awakening Enlightenment University. And she brought back this amazing, I mean, so, she's just filled with so much amazing, incredible, mind-blowing um, life lessons and information and, and just, it, she blows my mind every time, um, every time I listen to her. But this time it was all about triggers. And this is why this is the follow-up to the last video about Lesson 34 in A Course in Miracles. Because what happens is we're left with these triggers. Now I have all of these notes and if you want to grab a pen and paper, you can do that or you can bookmark this um, video page so that you can come back to this. But she said, triggers are emotions that we have resisted experiencing. I thought that that was really interesting because that's true. And what happens is all of these experiences, these triggers are, are held within us. And that energy, what that energy is doing, because we are extremely powerful beings and the energy that we hold within us and exude is always reflecting back to us. Um, a lot of people may say, including Wayne Dyer may say, we don't attract it, what we want, we attract who we are. So, or what we are. So what happens is these triggers get locked up inside of us and then they attract these experiences that are going to bring up these triggers, which will give us the opportunity to heal them. So that's the whole purpose of a trigger, and that's really the purpose of the ego. The ego is what gives us these triggers, is what is holding these triggers and, and holds on to this kind of energy. And then the triggers that happen when something happens in our life that maybe reminds us of something that happened years ago or maybe the same thing keeps happening over and over and over again. Maybe you're in a relationship where every relationship you've been in for years that person has cheated on you or you've cheated on them or you keep attracting alcoholics into your life for some reason and you happen to have an alcoholic parent or an alcoholic family member and these triggers keep coming up. You keep having these triggers of fear or anxiety and the likes. So, here's your opportunity. There's a few points that she gives us this beautiful, beautiful practice that she gave me that she learned from the Oneness University um, that I wanted to share and extend to all of you. So the first thing is to get alone. So we want to be by ourselves. We want to get into whether it's our meditation space or our practice space or a really sacred space where we can be alone with our own thoughts and connect with our source. Then we're going to ask for help to experience the feeling of the trigger. Very important part. And Janine Dietrich tells us this all the time. Dr. J, we call her, tells us this all the time. Don't think. Don't think. Don't go back to the experience in your mind. Don't start running the memes and the movies and all of the things. Don't do that because that will fuel the pain. What we want to do is feel the feeling. 
Just feel the feeling. And a lot of times what I've experienced when I feel feelings is it starts to expand and almost kind of dissipate just feeling and being aware of it alone and accepting the feeling because that's what she says triggers are, emotions that we have resisted experiencing. So we have to ask for assistance, ask our higher power for assistance in experiencing the feeling. And we sit with that feeling for a little bit. And then we ask this. We ask that God or our higher power or our creator or whichever you would like to refer to that as, we ask for God, as I call it, to burn off the energy, the emotional energy of these triggers. Ask God to burn off the emotional energy of these triggers. And then, extremely important, extremely important, we let it go. This is one that I have a difficult time doing. The ego has a difficult time doing. And um, this is where triggers come from because we didn't let go. So you have to feel it. Then ask your higher power to help you experiencing that, help you to feel that experience. We ask that God, our higher power, burn off the emotional energy surrounding this trigger and then we let it go. Now we know this is where faith comes in. This was a little bit difficult for me because having faith in my higher power, having faith in God, here's the result that she tells us. She says that an average for the, for the, the prayer to work and this exercise to work, average is 12 minutes. And what she says is after 12 minutes, you should feel absolute bliss. Why? Because who you are is absolute bliss. And when you experience absolute bliss, you've experienced the release of this emotional energy surrounding these triggers. You have been freed. And that should be your result. If that is not your result, that is where your faith comes in. And this is what I had to, I had to really break it down and practice. I had to kind of um, get into my prayer position and get into my prayer space. And before I even started doing this, I had to pray for faith. I had to be honest with my higher power and say, there is a part of me that doesn't trust in my higher power, there is a part of me that doesn't trust you, and there's a part of me that doesn't trust in myself. There's a part of me that doesn't trust. So maybe we can ask that God, or our higher power, if you're having this issue with faith, ask that God burn off those emotional energies. Because the reason we don't trust is not because is not because we were born without the trust and that God has to earn our trust or that we have to earn, earn our own trust. The truth is that we were born with absolute trust. We are bo born as absolute bliss and absolute love and absolute God energy. That is our, our natural being, our natural state of being is faith and God and trust. What happens is things occur in our life and we develop this conditioning that tells us that we can't trust things. And that really has been my issue in my life. And so what I like to do is when a trigger like that comes up and I go, oh God, I'm having some trouble with even having faith in God. What I say is, thank you. I can thank my ego and I can thank that trigger and I can thank God and I can thank myself, my higher self, whoever you wanna thank, I thank it all for bringing that trigger and that issue that is still within me up to the surface and into my awareness. Because awareness is the first step in healing. So, just to recap, with all of our triggers, if you want to start off by doing last week's Freedom Friday, then we'll come, we have, we have the realization of all of our triggers, and then we're going to, number one, get alone into our meditation space, our sacred space where we can be alone with our thoughts securely. 
Number two, we're going to ask our higher power to help experience the feelings surrounding these triggers. Number three, we're going to ask our higher power to burn off the emotional energy surrounding these triggers. Number four, we're going to let it go. Now, what that letting go is going to look like is knowing that it will occur. Not when it will occur, but that it will occur and that it is done. You let it go. You give thanks and just let it go. So it seems really simple. And when you experience that bliss, which is your true self, you have healed yourself. And congratulations. So you can do this. You can do this with the strength of your higher power and the strength that we have been given from our higher power within us. We can truly heal ourselves completely, utterly, from the inside out. So, this was an incredible practice that Janine Dietrich, my personal development coach, one of my many personal development coaches, um, shared with me and, and a, a group of us through the phone a couple weeks ago from Wilma, Women's, excuse me, Oneness University um, that she attended in India. So, which would be really cool if I could go there one day. So, ah, I hope that that is a really amazing practice. If you have any questions at all, I am always here to answer any questions you may have or any comments or share your experience with us on dariawaken.com right below this video. If you're on dariawaken.com, um, share this post on your Facebook pages as well or any other <laughs> social media that you're joined with. I'm on Instagram as well, Dad Dari Awakened. Um, Twitter, share it with everybody because this is just as Janine Dietrich shared this with me and Oneness University shared this with you. This is for the purpose of consciousness, of the collective consciousness. And things like this and sharing things like this, a, a positive, positive change and positive energy into the ether. <laughs> and into social media, it really will change the world. So, that is all for Freedom Friday today. I hope it helped, and I hope it was really powerful for you as it was for me. Again, share with one of your friends, and sign up for Freedom Friday if you have yet to do so on DiaryAwaken.com. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you next week. Look how far I've come. I was just like you, lost and alone. Searching for love And no matter how hard I tried It was no use Did God just hate me? But I was just like you Lost and alone